Arrivals day is full of emotions, but the last thing you want to be is worried and stressed. That's why we've put together this guide to tell you everything you need to know about your arrivals day. Before you arrive, there are a few things you will need to sort out online. You should have already paid your room bond. If, for whatever reason, you haven't, you must contact the accommodation office immediately. There is also an online induction which you must complete which covers things such as health and safety. You will be asked to pay your hall subs online. Your subs are arranged through the committee and are used to support the activities in your halls throughout the year. Your hall will have its own specific arrival day. This means you need to book a slot online for your anticipated time of arrival. Certain items are not permitted for health and safety reasons. Please see the website for further details. If you want an easy way to get everything you need for your new home, the University offers the option of purchasing bedding and kitchen starter packs. These contain all the essentials you need and can be bought online through the University website under prospective students. There are a number of packages to suit whatever you need. In terms of what happens on the actual day, the whole process is actually really simple and there are loads of people on campus to help you at every stage. When you arrive, you will be directed to your hall by security and student helpers around campus. Once at your hall, you will be given the keys to your room. There will be student helpers who will help you find your room and help with moving all of your belongings in. Within a few days of your arrival, you'll be emailed to complete an online room audit. This will ensure that everything is as it should be and you can report any faults or missing items. A kitchen audit also needs to be completed online. With several hundred students all moving in at once, it will obviously mean parking on the day will be quite limited. To make parking as easy as possible, you'll be assigned a 30 minute time slot near to your hall to unload. This will be plenty of time to unload as there will be student helpers on hand helping you unload your car. After the half hour slot, your parents will need to move the car to a university long stay car park. Transport back to the centre off campus will be provided. So once you've got your keys and you've moved your stuff into your room, you can get to know everyone else in your hall. You will be able to meet your committee, warden team and other freshers in your hall's common room or dining hall. There you'll be able to collect your freshers t-shirt and other useful info such as the plans for freshers week. You will then have a chance to say goodbye to your parents and spend some time with your new flatmates. In the evening there will be an introductory meeting with the committee and warden teams. Here you will learn a bit more about what Freshers Week has to offer as well as all the other things that happen over the year and what it's like living in halls. The wardens will also tell you a bit more about hall safety and pastoral support. So there you go, that's everything you need to know about your arrivals day. However, if you have any questions, you can go on the Campus Living website or contact the Student Accommodation Centre.